Nanocellulose hydrogels and foams are great bio-based materials for a huge variety of products, ranging from medical applications to packaging. But for most applications, they don't work on their own. So the fundamental property of, of nanocellulose is that it binds a lot of water. And uh, this can be good for many applications, but not if we want to use it in, in dry form. So quite often we are adding some synthetic uh, polymers there or doing chemical uh, grafting. Uh, and this will then reduce both the, the sustainability of the whole process and also the biodegradability of the material. To avoid synthetic or fossil-based polymers, a group of scientists at FinSeris are using a bio-based additive derived from wood bark. There's a lot of phenolic compounds. We also found some, a small amount of salt in there. So when we introduce them to the CNF, it will absorb on the surface of the fibrous and it will reduce the amount of water that can infiltrate the CNF, the fiber network. The bark extract creates a stable hydrogel structure with nanocellulose, in which the phenolic compounds strengthen the hydrogel and restrict disintegration, while the salt compound reduces swelling and disintegration in water. It also increases the strength of the CNF hydrogels, and also at the same time, because they are phenolic compounds, they offer also the protection against UV and also some antioxidant properties to the final product. One crucial component is the potassium ions present at low quantity in willow bark, which induces a denser network. We have found out that the foam itself, that we have the stable foam structure in our films, uh, it helps us to keep the structure so it doesn't swell or shrink that much as usually the cellulose does when it's in contact with moisture. It is closed cell structure so it means that all these pores inside the structure are covered with nanocellulose films. It's basically very similar structure to what like polystyrene is. Normally when foams are made from water solution they collapse into powder when dried. The FinSeris team has now been able to tackle this challenge. First of all, you have to make a foam that keeps its water inside during the drying. So normally, if you have a foam and you stop uh, stirring it, what happens is that bubbles start to grow and then this water starts to be drained away to the gravity. But uh, if you have a certain chemistry or, or molecules there that either increase viscosity or otherwise keep this water inside of the foam, then there is enough uh, water for nanocellulose to become film-like. And what's more, the process can be scaled up to an industrial level. The way we are doing, it can be basically done more or less in, in the same scale as, as paper machine or paper coaters, they could be used almost directly to make this kind of structure. Another benefit with this technology is the value-added use for a huge side stream. This willow bark is usually burned for energy and it could be used more wisely to boost the value and maximize the value from the raw material. But actually we are also planning to try different tree barks uh, from saw mills and bulb mills because nowadays those are just burned for energy and they are abundantly available from the mills.